that were inside that mansion at the time that DHS or Department of Homeland Security made entry into this mansion and onto this property. And you saw the juxtaposition of these heavily armed vehicles and those very expensive luxury cars that are parked right on that driveway right there. So clearly the a, a very different sight than we're used to seeing. But uh, there you see some of Justin. the people that were inside that mansion at the time of the raid. They're being talked to take, take, take by investigators, by people from the Department of Homeland Security. I can Ooh, see they're I getting their Lisa pictures taken as well. Fuck so maybe they, they don't know uh, who, you know, they're looking like for or, or who they Lisa have in front of them at this point, but again, part of the process of gathering information as to who in particular was on the grounds at the time that they made entry into, during this raid. So uh, if we do have a vantage point from the ground there, I'm not sure if we have a ground. Wait, y'all, so this is dead ass. This man, Puffy, him, Puffy, P. Diddy Combs, Mr. Take That, Take That, he really took his ass on a private jet and Hightail the fuck up out of here. This nigga knew that raid was coming. This nigga really don't beeline the fuck up out of here and left his kids behind. Left his kids behind. I would never want any of my children in their life to have experienced a raid, a fucking police raid. What? We is not about to be sitting back with my great grandkids. Be like, yeah, remember when our house got raided? <laughs> like, no, that is so fucking ghetto. Like, what? Y'all got me drinking. Like, this is the highest level of fucking narcissism i've ever seen in my life you prepared for this you knew that this was coming they came and raided both of your houses and you left them children behind you know good and goddamn well misa got on your ass the last time about you having justin in the middle of your nigga shit okay I would not be surprised if Misa come out and just blast every fucking thing. And guess what? You ain't got no power to do shit now, bitch. You ain't got no power. They stripping you. You know, goddamn, uh, what's the psychic, uh, Sloan, what's her name? Sloan something? What's, what's the psychic name? Miss Sloan? Yeah, Miss Sloan Bella? Miss Sloan Bella said when they take you down, they gonna zip tie your mouth shut. But they going to take about four other very important individuals down with you. Who y'all think she talking about, y'all? Who y'all think Miss Sloan Bella talking about? Because Andre Harrell did. I got a hint. I think Jermaine Dupri is one. I think Jay-Z is one. I think that damn Leon Cohen. Mm-hmm. Andre Harrell is passed. Who's the other one? He's still alive. Was it L.A. Reid? They coming for you, baby. Them names right there, they, you know what? They might skip over that white man. They might skip over Leo Corn. But Jay-Z, Jermaine Dupri, because Jermaine Dupri, I heard about, uh, allegedly, it sounds like you were in the middle bit, in the middle of the matrix of them parties and a lot of the shit that they've been saying was going on up in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but I definitely feel like they cooking up something with Jay-Z too. They're cooking something with Jay-Z. Do not be surprised if you don't see Jay-Z coming because I really do think with that goddamn Beyonce and that country music bullshit, I think that they might have ruffled some feathers they shouldn't have been fucking with. And they gonna humble the fuck out of a few niggas this year. I promise you that they are. Just because they allowed y'all to have power and domination over the black people, you can't cross certain lines and think that they will not sun your ass. Like, for real. Them higher-ups, them people all the way, all the way at the tippy top of the mountaintop, they are not gonna let you take them out to slaughter. They are not. They will sacrifice you. They will get you the fuck up out of here. So, um, I don't know, you know, if Puffy... Because when you are dealing with people that have a certain amount of power and money, I don't give a damn but where you go to. You can go anywhere that you want to. They ain't got no extradition laws. I, I don't play with people with power and money. Just to make sure that you don't talk. Man, this woman... Sloan Bella said that she's seen this man... Lips sewn up, man. 
And she said she ain't feel his energy in four years. Did y'all see that shit? Like, no, for real, did y'all see that? The video she did like four months ago? Go Google Sloan Bella. Diddy. Watch the whole live. She said that they are, it's going to be four other names that are going to be taken down with him. That he is the sacrificial lambs because the higher, higher ups are not to be fucked with. And they will sacrifice you. They gave you the power and they will take it from you. Mm-hmm. Y'all, this about to get nasty, nasty. Hold on. Um, Y'all remember the little uh magician from Frosty the Snowman and the Snowman? Messy, messy, messy. <laughs> to be messy 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 i'm sorry i do not respect puffy why you did not take your children with you sir why would you have why would you just leave your kids behind like that and you know that they got justin's names all up in them court papers why in the fuck would you just leave that boy you know what they said that justin might not be in his hand but you know allegedly i ain't seen that shit they thought that might be that nigga wolf baby but you know i ain't said that you know i ain't said it they said puppy might have sacrificed the wolf and all of that stuff like that mm. but you know that's allegedly because I be watching the internet, and y'all be saying a lot on the internet, so I'm just repeating what y'all said on the internet. Mm. Shit, he said Christian name ain't in none of them papers. He said, man, fuck that baby. Puffy said, fuck that baby. That ain't even my fuck that little nigga. And y'all don't tell me I'm being petty, because do, do not tell me that everybody has not been sitting here thinking that Christian is not that man's son. I mean, I respect any man that is, I re, look, I respect him. But I'm going to check him. Why that? Why he left that little boy back there like that, and he knew his name was Mr. Uh, and all up in the paperwork. Hmm. Messy, messy, fucking messy. Bitch, I'm the fuck reloaded. Y'all not about to. Y'all not about to fuck up my day. I'm supposed to be in school right now. Y'all got me sitting up here reporting and venting on this shit. I, look, I done had this motherfucker take me a drink. Bitch, I'm sorry. This is child neglect. Can we can we get him on some more charges? Child neglect like shit? Not even partial, full throttle, bitch. You just full throttle child neglect. The fuck is wrong with you, y'all? I'm, I'm out of here. I ain't got shit else to say. The fuck? I have never. This right here is the thing that is messing me up so bad. The fact that that little boy right there, Christian, does not have his mother around and he was just out there on that damn lawn in handcuffs and his father just got the fuck up and just left him and his boy is by himself the only person that he probably really has is his grandmother his mother is gone you know at least justin has misa you know justin gonna come get her son you know misa is not playing about justin them other four kids their mother is fucking gone. She's gone. And 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 the fact that there's rumors that that man puppy might have something to do with it, allegedly. I, it just that little boy has nobody. That man sacrificed his own son out there. He knew that raid was coming. That little boy couldn't even call his mother for comfort. That shit is fucking me up right now. I really, I really feel some type of way about that right now. And these little girls are sitting here watching this bullshit take place. They see their older brother sitting at the only one. Thank God. That I'll be sure is not dead. But they tried to kill him allegedly. Because we're not going to fucking play around right now. Okay? When Kim Porter died, I'll be sure was what? Trying to tell y'all that Puffy had something to do with it. And the next thing you know, a couple of weeks later, something happened to him. That's the same thing that Jaguar White said. 
that boy's father. Y'all seen them creepy ass videos with the little boy. I forget what I'll be sure his son's name is. I forget what his name is. But Diddy had him and Diddy had some little white girl talking about they was he Diddy had adopted some little white girl. And it was extremely creepy. Did y'all see that? Go look up on YouTube Puff Daddy's adopted little white girl daughter. Like what? Like, I, mm -mm. he got all these kids mixed up in this shit. All of them. He got everything to do with everything that is wrong with these other kids. Other parent. I'll be sure. Almost died. Kim Porter, dead. Y'all don't... Is it just me? Or am I the only one bothered by this shit? Who that little boy was gonna call when he was sitting out there? His grandmother? I guess. All right, man, let me just, cause this shit is bothering me. Like emotionally, spiritually, and just in every way, shape, form, or fashion. This shit right here is bothering me. And it should be bothering everybody. I, I need y'all to, like, really think. And don't just, like, take this shit as fodder and entertainment. This shit is sick. Like, the entertainment industry, the music entertainment industry, the film industry, all of this shit is just a big cover-up for trafficking. If y'all haven't realized that yet, y'all just watched the whole Nickelodeon expose. These are sick-ass motherfuckers. Every last one of them. Every facet of the entertainment industry is a cover-up. And if y'all don't see that, I must be the only one with 2020 vision. Cause God helping me see this shit clearly. I don't give a damn how I, I I don't give a damn how much talent I got. I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't dare put my gift around these devils. This is fucking sadistic and sick. These motherfuckers been sacrificing children and their own children. Fucking sick.